In this video, we will talk about how to subtract hexadecimal numbers. So, in a base 10 system, or sometimes just called a decimal system, we have values that start at 0, then they go up to 1, 2, 3, and they just keep going up and they only use numbers. But in a base 16 system, or sometimes called a hexadecimal system, we start at 0, and we go up to 9, but once we hit 10, instead of writing 10, we use an A to represent 10. We then use a B to represent 11, we use C to represent 12, D represents 13, E represents 14, and F represents 15. So knowing this, let's see how we can perform some subtraction on hexadecimal numbers. So let's say we have DF23 minus 3AA. How can we subtract these hexadecimal numbers? Well, we'll start just like ordinary subtraction where we focus on this first column here, and we say, what is 3 minus A? Well, remember, A in the hexadecimal system, this is really the same as 10. So we have 3 minus 10. Well, we can't do that because 3 is smaller than 10. So just like an ordinary subtraction that you might have learned in elementary school, you have to borrow from this next column. So we'll say this 2 actually becomes a 1. Now, in the decimal system, normally we would say, okay, we get to add 10 to this column right here. But remember, we're working with hexadecimal numbers. So instead of adding 10, we're going to add 16, since a hexadecimal system uses base 16. So we say, let's cross out this 2, make it a 1, and we'll add 16 to this column. So now what we have right here is 3 plus 16. So we've got 19 minus A, or in other words, 19 minus 10, which is just 9. So we get a 9 right here. So moving on to the next column, we now have 1 minus A. Well, remember, A is equal to 10, so we can't do 1 minus 10, so we have to borrow from this next column. So we'll cross out the F and make it 1 less than it was. So what's 1 less than F? in the hex system. Well, that's just E. So this F, we cross it out and it becomes an E, and we add 16 to this one right here. So now we have 1 plus 16, that's 17. So we have 17 minus A, or 17 minus 10, which is 7. All right, moving on to the next column, we have E minus 3. So remember, in the hexadecimal system, E is the same as 14. So really we have 14 minus 3, which is 11. And 11 in the hexadecimal system is represented by a B. So we can just write a B right here. And then lastly, we have D minus nothing. So that just stays as a D. So our final answer is DB79. So DF23 minus 3AA in the hexadecimal system, the answer we get is DB79. All right, let's try another example. Let's say we have 9EC8 minus 84E8. How can we subtract these two hexadecimal numbers? Well, let's start with the first column. 8 minus 8, that's just 0. C minus E, so remember C is equal to 12, and E is equal to 14. So we can't do 12 minus 14, so we have to borrow from the next column. So we'll say let's convert this E into 1 less than E, which is D in the hexadecimal system. So this becomes a D. And then we add 16 to this column. So now we have C plus 16. So what is that? Well, C is 12. So 12 plus 16 is 28. So we really have 28 minus E, which is 14. So 28 minus 14 is 14. And remember, in the hexadecimal system, E represents 14. So we'll just write an E right here. All right, moving on to the next column, we have D minus 4. Well, D is the same thing as 13. So we really have 13 minus 4, which is 9. And then lastly, we have 9 minus 8, which is just 1. So our final answer is 1, 9, E, 0. All right, let's try another one. Let's say we have FD, 3, CC, minus A, 0, A, 5, D. How can we perform this hexadecimal subtraction? Well, we'll start with this column right here, C minus D. Well, notice C is less than D, so we can't perform that subtraction. So we have to borrow from the next column. So this C, we'll cross it out and we'll make it a B, because B is one less than C in the hexadecimal system. And then we get to add 16 to this column. So now we have C plus 16. So what is that? Well, C is 12, so 12 plus 16 is 28, minus D is 13, so 28 minus 13 is 15. And in the hex system, an F represents a 15. So we can just write an F right here. All right, moving on to the next column, we have B minus 5. Well, B is the same thing as 11, so this is really 11 minus 5, which is 6. Next, we have 3 minus A. 
So a is the same thing as 10, so we can't do 3 minus 10. So we need to borrow from this next column. So this d will become a c, and we get to add 16 to this 3 right here. So what is 3 plus 16? That's 19. So we have 19 minus a. a is 10, so 19 minus 10 is 9. All right, next we get c minus 0. That's just c. And lastly, we get f minus a. So f is the same thing as 15, and a is the same thing as 10. So 15 minus 10, that's just 5. So our final answer is 5C96F. Okay, let's try one more example. Let's say we have A33D8 minus B733. How can we perform this subtraction? Well, we'll start with 8 minus 3. That's just 5. Then we have D minus 3. So remember, D is equivalent to 13. So really what we have is 13 minus 3, which is 10. And in the hexadecimal system, an A is used as a 10. So we'll write A. Next, we have 3 minus 7, which we can't do, so we need to borrow from this next column. So this 3 becomes a 2, and we add 16 to this 3. So really what we have right here is 3 plus 16. So that's 19 minus 7, which is 12. In the hexadecimal system, a 12 is represented by C, so we'll write C. All right, in the next column, we have 2 minus B. Remember, B is the same thing as 11, so we can't do 2 minus 11, so we have to borrow from this column right here. So what's one less than a in the hexadecimal system? That would be a 9. So this a becomes a 9. And we're allowed to add 16 to this 2 right here. So we have 2 plus 16, that's 18. So we have 18 minus b. b is 11. So 18 minus 11, that's 7. And then lastly, we have 9 minus nothing, which is just 9. So our final answer is 9, 7, ca5.